In this video, we're going to focus on solving compound inequalities. We're going to talk about how to graph it on a number line and also how to write the solution using interval notation. So let's go ahead and begin. Here's the first problem. Let's say that 3x plus 5 is less than 8 or negative 2x plus 5 is less than or equal to negative 1. What should we do in order to find or solve for x? We need to solve both equations. Let's start with the one on the left side. Let's begin by subtracting both sides by 5. 5 minus 5 is 0. We can bring down to 3x. And 8 minus 5 is 3. Next, let's divide both sides by 3. So we can see that x is less than 1. Now for the other side, let's begin by subtracting both sides by 5. So what we now have is negative 2x is less than or equal to negative 1 minus 5, which is negative 6. Now just like we did before, we need to divide both sides by the number in front of x. In this case, it's negative 2. Now, you need to keep in mind that whenever you multiply or divide by a negative number, you need to change the direction of the inequality. Negative 6 divided by negative 2 is 3. And so this is what we have. Now, let's plot the solution on a number line. So let's say this is 0. This is going to be negative 1. Here's 1, 2, and 3. Now, x is less than 1, but not equal to it. So we're going to have an open circle. And because it's less than, we're going to shade towards the left. Now, x is also greater than or equal to 3. Because we have the underline, because it can equal 3, we're going to have a closed circle at 3. And because it's greater than, we're going to shade towards the right. So that's how you can graph the solution using a number line. Now, how can we write the answer using interval notation? All the way to the left, we have negative infinity. And all the way to the right, we have positive infinity. So the answer, the first part, is going to start from negative infinity to 1. Now, whenever you have an open circle, make sure you use parentheses as opposed to brackets. Now, at 3, 3 is included, so that's a closed circle. We need to use brackets. So that's the answer using interval notation. x could be anything between negative infinity to 1, but not including 1, and anything between 3 and infinity, including 3. Here's another problem that we could try. Let's say that 7 is less than or equal to 4x plus 3, which is less than 23. So here we have another compound inequality. The other one was associated with the word or, and this one's associated with the word and. Go ahead and solve it. Feel free to pause the video. So what's the first thing that we should do in this problem? The first thing that we can do is subtract all three sides by 3. If we do that, this is what we're going to get. 4x is greater than... 7 minus 3, which is 4, and it's less than 23 minus 3, which is 20. Next, we can divide all three sides by 4. Our goal is to get x by itself in the middle. So 4 divided by 4 is 1, and 20 divided by 4 is 5. So x is between 1 and 5. Now let's plot this on a number line. Now, at 1, should we have an open circle, or should we put a closed circle? Notice that x is equal to or greater than 1, so it includes 1. Therefore, we need a closed circle at 1. And because it's greater than 1, we need to shade towards the right. Now, looking at the other side, x is less than 5, but not equal to it. So we're going to need an open circle at 5. And because it's less than 5, 
we need to shade towards the left. And we can clearly see that x is between 1 and 5. Now how can we represent the answer using interval notation? Starting at 1, we need to use a bracket. And then after that, it stops at 5. But because we have an open circle at 5, we need to use parentheses. So that's the answer using interval notation. It's simply from 1 to 5. So now here's another problem that you could try. 1 third x plus 2 is less than or equal to 4. Or 6 minus 2 over 5x is less than 2. So take a minute, pause the video, and try this example. So let's start with the 1 on the left. Let's begin by subtracting both sides by 2. So 1 third x is less than or equal to 4 minus 2, which is 2. Now what should we do at this point to get rid of the x? I mean, not the x, but to get rid of the fraction. If you want to get rid of the fraction, multiply both sides by 3. 3 times 1 third, which is 3 divided by 3, that's equal to 1, or 1x, one which is simply x. 2 times 3 is 6, so x is less than or equal to 6. Now for the other one, let's begin by subtracting both sides by 6. So now we have negative 2 over 5x is less than 2 minus 6, which is negative 4. So now let's multiply both sides by negative 5. And keep in mind, anytime you multiply or divide by a negative number, the inequality will change direction. So these will cancel. And we're going to have positive 2x on the left side. And that's greater than negative 4 times negative 5, which is positive 20. And now let's divide both sides by 2 x is greater than 10. So let's say this is 6 and this is 10. And we have the numbers in between. So x is equal to or less than 6. So we're going to have a closed circle at 6. And because it's less than, we're going to shade towards the left. x is greater than 10, but not equal to it. So we're going to have an open circle shaded towards the right. At the right, we have positive infinity, and at the left, negative infinity. So the answer using interval notation is negative infinity to 6, since it includes 6. We're going to use the brackets because we have a closed circle, and then union, 10 to infinity. Anytime you have an open circle, make sure you use parentheses. And for infinity symbols, you should always use parentheses. Here's another one that we could try. 8 is less than 2 over 3x plus 6, which is less than or equal to 12. Try that one. Find a solution, plot it on a number line, and then write the solution using interval notation. So let's begin by subtracting all three sides by 6. 8 minus 6 is 2. 12 minus 6 is 6. Now we have a fraction, so let's multiply both sides by the denominator of the fraction. So we're going to multiply all three sides by 3. 2 times 3 is 6. 3 times 2 thirds, the 3's will cancel, leaving behind 2x. 6 times 3 is 18. Next, let's divide all three sides by 2. 6 divided by 2 is 3. 2x divided by 2 is just x. 18 divided by 2 is 9. So x is between 3 and 9. So let's say this is 3, and this is 9. Now x is greater than 3, so it doesn't equal 3, so we have an open circle shaded towards the right. x is less than or equal to 9. So it's a closed circle at 9, shaded towards the left. So it's between 3 and 9. And in interval notation, the answer is going to be 3 to 9, but with a bracket at 9 since we have a closed circle at 9. So that's it for this video.
Thanks for watching. By the way, if you want to find more videos, you can check out my website, video tutornet or you can go to my channel and you can find uh, playlists on algebra, trig, precal, calculus, chemistry, and physics. So go ahead, take a look at those, and uh, thanks again for watching this video.